Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This is unboxing and first impressions video 2 of 2 and if you don't know what I'm talking about that's because in the previous video I actually did an unboxing of this bad boy here which is the Wraith by Damn EDC and if you want to check that out I'll put a link in the description box down below but this video is about the Yokai and nope I have not opened it it's just that these two came in the same package so the unboxing for that was done first so now we're moving on to the next one which is the Yokai by Damn EDC and here we have the COA and a cleaning cloth in here or a microfiber cloth and this microfiber cloth actually has a damn designs logo debossed into this and I know that it's pretty bright here so you can't really see it but trust me it's there if you need something to refer to then check out the previous video because I changed the settings of my recording device and I don't want to keep changing it during the recording of the video so yep gonna open this up and here we have the coa yokai bk030 uh, i don't know why it's bk because is it my name benko I, I don't know i don't know but it's red carbon fiber satin m390 checked by ps patrick silver so once again shout out to patrick silver of course and also shout out to the man behind damn designs adrian d'souza so that's the coa right there and much like the wraith it comes in a solid plastic case with the damn edc logo kind of laser etched here and you've got some attachment points up here as well so that's pretty cool you could hang this anywhere you want and on the underside oh it's a little bit different here uh it says basilisk but he kind of like sharpied it out and then wrote the word yokai well i guess at this point i should say that well the yokai and the basilisk basically are i guess you could call it the same knife just with a different blade shape so the yokai features a tanto blade shape and the basilisk is a drop point and i gotta say that the basilisk actually looks pretty good as well so we got bk030 which matches your coa here uh my coa i should say and other things here is titanium black liner red marble carbon fiber yep i'm looking forward to seeing that in person satin m390 blade let me tell you guys man this this guy this guy is actually offered in more than one color you have like blue marble carbon fiber red marble carbon fiber black marble carbon fiber so for me when i saw the red marble carbon fiber i was like oh my goodness this looks so good gotta get one and uh, also because i've got poisoned by all the other you know uh, youtubers that actually got their hands on the yokai first whether or not it was a prototype version or the retail version man i think damned edc and adrian's really creating some awesome waves out there in the market to get such good backing and to get such good feedback from all these well-known knife reviewers it's just great man so you guys know i really am not a knife reviewer i just am quite a fan of these kind of products especially from damn designs you know my favorite tri spinner is still the og triad come on man come on and i don't even need to mention this but the invictus man the invictus is okay well just leave it there moment of truth oh wow okay so it's got a lot of excess lubrication you can see around the pivot area i'm gonna have to wipe it off and i'll just use the previous cloth from the wraith so just wipe this off okay i was not expecting it to look this good in person how crazy is this okay guys i know there's still a little bit of lubrication here but look at that would you even consider this marble carbon fiber this is nothing like the marble i've seen so far generally marble carbon fiber is like kind of like swirly you know like really literally marbled but this is kind of like brush strokes this is awesome it's almost like shreds this looks like an art piece man what the heck this is awesome this is really really good and then of course it's got the damn edc logo here as well so since we're talking about all of this i'll be just going through the aesthetics first this is made in titanium and it is in a frame lock and we've got the pocket clip here as well i believe it is a slightly different pocket clip from the wraith wow the carbon fiber here okay some excess lubrication gonna wipe it off and we've got a much shorter backspacer and you've got a lanyard slot here on the backspacer as well so it's a very discreet lanyard slot i like that a lot and uh yeah when the blade sticks out here you could see the harpoon style curve here jimping here is very nicely done the jimping here is way better than the wraith i mean it's not fair of me to compare it to the wraith this is very nice you could see that there is some chamfering here on the sides of the jimping so that makes it really really good oh and you've also got a steel lock bar insert there for the lock bar that's so cool and you've got this over here I, I mean i'm going back to this because i love the application of the damn edc logo here because you got the x and then the o is actually that 
screw right there and we've got the flipper tab here and the flipper tab here is nice really really nice um it's got chamfers all the way around okay I, I can't help this but i really want to say this now i'm comparing it to the wraith this flipper tab here is done way better than the wraith that this is based on first impressions if you guys watched that video about the first impressions of the wraith really the jimping up here was a little bit too sharp but this one here is just it's great it's great you could see a little bit of the lock bar insert right there just sticking out peeking out saying hello oh just before i close this box up i want to say i'm not sure of the main reason why the microfiber cloth and the coa came separately from this case because i don't know cleaning cloth can be folded i guess maybe because this case is a little bit too shallow but I think for the case of the cleaning cloth, it could be folded and kind of tucked into a corner like that or something. And then the COA could be hidden under this. And yep, just to reiterate, this is all pick and pluck foam. Pick and pluck foam is just awesome, man. It gives you a good chance to repurpose your case. So I'll just put this here and put this right here and let's see if this thing closes. It does. So I'm not so sure why the cleaning cloth as well as the COA was kind of packed separately. But yeah, whatever. COA is in there. And now it's time to check out the action on this bad boy here. I really, really, really love the way it looks right now. Ah, oh, what? The action was so good. Okay, this is really good action here. I'm trying very hard not to talk about the blade right now. So let's just... Okay, this thing's smooth, but not the smoothest. I mean, of course, it's stock, right? So... Oh, but very good action so good so good yep if i clean it up a little bit just re-lube it i'm pretty sure it's gonna be really good at drop shutting but right now it is super smooth you guys can hear and visually see that snappy action lockup is pretty okay oh you can also see that the scales have been skeletonized there are some circular slots cut out in the scale so nice uh it's been lightened up a little bit and we've got the serial number in there let me just try and bounce off some light there we go it says damned bk030 so i don't know why it's called bk i think maybe it was named the basilisk i'm not so sure oh the cf looks to be chipped in there can you guys see that yeah, it looks to be chipped i need to confirm that but that should not hinder the operation of the knife at all Blade centering. Ah, blade centering on this is pretty good. Look at that. Spot on. Okay, good blade centering for this one. Action here is so good though. Right. I love it. Okay, I'm going to try to open it with my middle finger just the way I did with the Wraith as well. Ah, it works. So here you could visually see as well as feel that this notch here has been cut a little bit deeper to allow easier access to disengage the lock. And... Uh, Yep, even though the jimping does touch my thumb, it doesn't bite my skin. And we've got a sharpening choil here on the blade. And up here, you've got the jimping that leads into a harpoon style top with a swedge up here. And I love that swedge. It's so awesome. And then we've got, of course, the tanto. The tanto grind. Grind this way, this way. And then the flats are ground this way. So you can see all the different grind marks. Very different, very, very much different from the Wraith where the Wraith was all in the same direction. This is a little bit more, I guess you could call it traditional in that sense. And on the flip side, yep, once again, no damned EDC logo, no maker's mark or anything except for the mark of the blade steel, M390 right there. You've also got this curve, like circular mark out here. And if you guys are not sure and wondering what that is, it is basically the track that the D10 ball has caused. Every time you close and open the blade, you know, so that's where the D10 ball actually runs on. But the action on this is really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Quick size comparison for you guys before we go into the final thing that I'll be talking about, which is the ergonomics. So I'm going to put the yokai here. And the first knife that I'll compare it to, of course, is a Spyderco Para 3. Then we've got a paramilitary 2 seems to be i should say seems to be slightly smaller than the wraith i may be wrong but it is almost kind of in between i mean pretty much comparable to the para 3 but you know in overall length it looks to be a little bit longer than the para 3 and shorter than the para 2 i mean of course it looks a lot shorter than the para 2 but don't forget this is a tanto edge here so yep next i've got a crkt pilar that i will leave right there and a benchmade mini grip so yeah guys the yokai is longer in overall length compared to both the benchmade mini grip as well as the crkt pilar now let's talk ergonomics so first of all standard hammer grip oh hey this is way more comfortable than the wraith 
Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I really don't mean to keep comparing it to the Wraith. It's just because I literally just handled it. So please, I do apologize. Please forgive me. But this is way more comfortable than the Wraith. That pocket clip, I think because it's curved, it's not like uncomfortable. It doesn't really bite. Not at all, actually. It doesn't bite at all. It's really, really comfortable. I love this grip. Index finger sits right there in the groove very, very well. Ah, this is the winner. This is that sweet spot right there. See that? The jimping and the harpoon cut out here is where your thumb sits perfectly. Look, it's just perfect. Of course, with the sharpening choil, you're not able to choke up on this knife, but this, wow, this is awesome. So in a kind of like a, what is this called? Like a pencil grip? What is this, like a claw grip? I don't know, but this is quite okay. You have your middle finger here in that groove, and then you have your index finger and thumb pinching the sides. Uh, near where the pivot pin is that's not bad too pointer grip hey hey the pointer grip also is quite comfortable uh, it doesn't sit flat here but it sits closer to the top of the harpoon uh, cutout last but not least of course is a reverse grip and needless to say the reverse grip super comfortable nothing much sticking out from the top here but all of this is not in the way at all it's just sits very very nicely i dare say that my first impressions is that the yokai is something that i prefer more than the wraith of course i know that the yokai is maybe the second or the third knife that adrian has designed but the wraith being the first you know there were some improvements that could have been made and i think that this is a pretty good step up over the wraith don't get me wrong the wraith is pretty good but like i said guys this is just a first impression so right now the first impressions of the yokai is actually pretty damn awesome i like it i like it a lot i dare say that this is actually a contender for what could possibly be my favorite edc right now my favorite edc knife is a para 3 and this being the para 3 lightweight see how that slot right there just that's my thumb sit in there. So the Para 3 is currently my favorite EDC knife. It used to be the CRKT Pila, but right now this, because of the size and everything, is somewhere in the range of where the Para 3 sits. It's got this harpoon style thing here. Tanto, um, I gotta say, action is actually pretty good. Like the action is way more satisfying, honestly, than a Para 3. Like that flipper tab here, so nice. I don't even have to pull it back. Just gotta push it down like a push button just it snaps that snappiness is crazy and it's so smooth i mean once i clean it up i know this thing is going to be a beast okay so i gotta say i really really like the yokai first impressions of this thing is really really good uh but you guys know the deal i'm going to be putting this on my edc for a week but that week will come only after i spend a week with the wraith so this will be coming in a little bit later than the wraith so bear with me on that because i really want to spend quality time with this thing before i actually give you guys my real true final verdict on it and that is it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life i hope that you enjoyed this video i'll put any links in the description box down below i know i failed to mention that in my other videos sometimes but always just check the description box down below i'll put links and anything relevant all in there and if you like the content that i'm putting out please consider subscribing to the channel Channel, it would really mean a lot to me and if you do subscribe make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any new uploads that i put out also i run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that in case you want to go check it out and if you do become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance it really means a lot to me because that support is way more than anything that youtube can ever offer me you know i'm just being real here all right guys once again this was the damned edc yokai in red marble carbon fiber and I will catch all of you in the next slice of my life. Until then, everyone, gaga, boost.